the square of number 3. So square means all four sides equal. So all four sides equal means 3 on this side, 3 on this side. 3 times 3. So this is a square now. You can see 3 on every side. So we can say that 3 times 3 3 times 3 or 3 square is 9. So 3 times 3 which we also call 3 square is 9. So instead of this, we will keep a square of 3. So this is 3 square. Now let's open this square. Let's count all the beads in this square. So this is a square. Let's open this. Now we have these numbers, 6, 9 and 3. So now we will count and place the number according to the bead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So in a square, there are nine beads. So let's make a cube of three. So first square, second square, and the third square. So this has become a cube. A cube has three dimensions. Three, three, and three on this side. So instead of this cube, we'll keep this. So this is a cube of 3. So let's see how we can write this. So this is a 3 cube of 3. Now a cube of 3 has 3 squares. This is a cube chain of 3. Let's count the number of beads in this chain. This is the first square. This is the second square. And this is the third square. So in a square of 3, there are 9 beads. So 9 plus 9 plus 9. So let's count. How many beads are there in a cube? So let's open this chain. So these are the numbers that we have to place according to the number of beads. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, here is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, so this is number 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and then 25, 26, 27. So there are 27 beads in a cube of 3. So cube of 3 is 27. Cube of 3 is 27. We can also write 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. 
So a cube of 3 has 27 beads. So cube of 3 is 27.